Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's a great pleasure to address you today. And let me start by congratulating the organizers, the Global Leadership Council, the Global Peace Foundation for convening this important event. As you know, at a time where people around the world are concerned with development more than ever before, it's a crucial that we have the discussion and the important tools that will enable us to build the future we want. And the future we want is a peaceful one, a future where all members live in as equals in dignity, rights, and opportunities. And my role as the UN Secretary General's Envoy in Youth, I advocate strongly for the needs and demands and aspirations of young people around the world. Youth can act as both beneficiaries of and ambassadors for peace, but only if we let them. And young people are increasingly aware of their importance and their important role in the quest for peace. In places like Kenya, many young people came together after the post-election violence in 2007 to work together in ensuring that this is not repeated. They educate their peers on peaceful dialogue and the culture of tolerance, taking ownership of their role in peace building. Similar examples exist all over the world. So what is my message today? My message to you, that we should work with young people. We should harness their potential, make sure that we are partnering with them. Because the culture of peace is not about reaching an agreement. Politicians can sign peace agreements, but young people can carry this and implement it in the ground. Peace requires believers to have peace. We need advocates, promoters, and believers to work strongly to advocate for peace. Young people, they have the potential to do that. We have a youthful generation. And in Africa, it's a youthful continent. And the number of young people will double in the next 20 years. We should not recycle our failures. It's time for us to take action and to live up to our responsibility in promoting peace. I really believe in this young generation in Africa. I believe they can bring about peace that is long waited in many parts of Africa. The UN is proud to work very closely with many youth organizations and to explore ways how to collaborate with young groups and young people to reach a peaceful societies and to continue driving our planet to reach a more prosperity and development for all. We are also committed to working with young people around the world and with all stakeholders. The United Nations here is standing for the values of human rights, dignity, democracy, peace and security. Young people must be seen as full partners in decision-making processes, especially where their interests are central. Giving a seat to young people in these processes ensure that their perspective is included as part of the solution for political, social, and economic development in any context is a must. But the interesting part is that it also becomes partially their responsibility to ensure that these decisions are implemented. So it's not only about teaching decisions, it's very much about implementing them, about having young people holding governments accountable to the implementation of these agreements. Young people can then become truly part of the development of processes at all levels. And in turn, young people contribute to maintaining the peace and stability of their communities. So let us not forget that the role of youth is crucial to maintaining international peace and security. We at the United Nations are ready to partner with you and to work with all young people around the world to continue advocating and strengthening the values of the United Nations. Peace and security, human dignity, democracy, and human rights. I wish you a very successful conference, and I look forward to learn about the outcome of your meeting. Thank you very much.